Hello and welcome to our video about fasting during Ramadan for patients with hepatitis B or C. While fasting during Ramadan can have spiritual benefits, it is important to consider the potential risks and benefits for patients with these diseases. In this video, we will discuss the guidelines for fasting during Ramadan for patients with hepatitis B or C, the risks associated with fasting, and the recommended diet for patients who do choose to fast. Hepatitis B or C patients can be divided into two categories, those without any complications, and those with complications or other health problems, such as diabetes. Patients without any complications may be able to fast, but should first consult with their physician. However, patients with serious complications, such as cirrhosis or ascites, or those who have experienced blood in vomiting or hepatic encephalopathy, should avoid fasting altogether. Fasting can worsen their health and be life-threatening. Hepatitis C virus infection is the leading cause of cirrhosis, which is an end-stage liver disease. Patients with complications of the disease are at risk of lower blood sugar levels, which can be dangerous. If a patient experiences drowsiness or stomach pain during fasting, it is important to break the fast and consult a physician to avoid complications. For patients who are allowed to fast, it is important to follow a simple diet and avoid foods that are high in fat or take a long time to digest. Fried dishes, pakoras, samosas, and kachoris should be avoided. Instead, patients should focus on taking juices and fresh fruits, including dates, at the time of iftar. It is also important for patients to drink plenty of water during the time of ser and iftar to avoid complications of the disease. In conclusion, Patients with hepatitis B or C should consult with their physician before deciding to fast during Ramadan. Patients with serious complications of the disease should avoid fasting altogether, while those without complications may be able to fast after receiving guidance from their physician. A simple and healthy diet should be followed during the fast, and patients should drink plenty of water to stay hydrated. Thank you for watching our video.